Good morning, everyone. Today is Wednesday, April 3rd, 2017, and this is your fun fact of the day. The 3rd of May. Back to Womenly Wednesdays, where we talk about things that a woman of good character should do. Again, most of these are things everyone should do, not just women, but today's Womenly Wednesday is the care of widows and orphans. In many ways, this is a little more easily accessible for women than men, but in general, a good woman will take care of widows, widowers, orphans, etc. This is almost always a care of your time, but it can also be your resources, your money, opening your house, etc. And this becomes even more true if the widow or the widower or orphan is within your family. This concept is so important that in the Bible it says that if you do not care for the widows, especially if they're in your family, you've denied the faith worse than an unbeliever does. That is how critical it is to take care of the widows and orphans within your family and outside of it as well. Why is this important? In general, widows, more so back in the day, but uh, widows and young children who are orphans are unable to care for themselves. Nowadays, there's a lot more opportunities. We have adoption, we have foster care, we have women working, so it's not as like life-shattering if a woman's husband dies nowadays, but it still applies. You still should take care of those who have lost people. Even today, being without a parent or both your parents or your spouse can lead to just a very big lack of joy. It makes it hard to find a will to live, find a reason when it just seems like everything's going crazy and your loved ones are dying around you. So we should care for these people and bring them meals, lift up their spirits, take care of them. So go out and care for those widows and orphans. That's what a womanly woman would do. In other news, it is National Garden Meditation Day. I would love to meditate in a garden, but currently I'd probably just fall asleep. So I really think sleeping counts as meditation. It is also two different colored shoes day. Most people who have two different colored shoes, they tend to be completely different shoes with different feelings. But if you have multiple pairs of the same shoes of different colors, particularly Chucks, that would be my biggest example. You can have so many different colors of you know, all-star trucks and stuff. If you have some of those, go ahead and wear them. Be different, expressive even. Hope you've enjoyed this fun fact of the day. See you tomorrow.